Hey, hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you from a different location than normal. I am at my house in my uh, garage, barn, whatever you want to call this giant thing that I'm so grateful that we have. Um, yeah, there we go. That's it. That is the barn. Uh, and as promised, I am now going to be working on building a home shop. Uh, we are not moving Highland Cycles here. <laughs> this is just for me and my kids to work on bikes. Also for my wife to do work. Uh, we've got that whole mess over there. There's a lot of mess going on <laughs> in here. Uh, we've got a lot, of, a lot of work to do here, but I am ready to start setting up my home shop. Uh, mainly, like I said, for the kids to do oil changes, air filters, small stuff, whatever. <clears throat> Uh, suspension service I think I'm going to be able to be set up to do here. Things like that. Uh, just the kind of normal things uh, that they need to be doing uh, so they don't have to come down to the shop and then I can stay out here work late on some cool project bikes and things like that. So if that sounds like fun and you want to join us for this, subscribe because this is going to be a, a video series and here we go. All right guys, so let's start with the area we have. We take a look over here. Um, kind of from that post to the corner to eh, all the way to the door really uh, is kind of my zone that I want to have for my stuff or working on my stuff here. Uh, first and foremost, I must thank Rocky Mountain ATV MC for sponsoring this video and the channel. They are the largest sponsors of the channel, guys. They are incredibly helpful to me. And uh, if you need to shop from them, first of all, please go to your local shop order from them, go to your local dealer, order from them, whatever you have to do to support the local economy. But if there's things they can't get or things they don't want to get, or you just don't like the guys <laughs> in your uh, hometown, please consider clicking the link below uh, for our Rocky Mountain link. It supports us, it supports them. You get free shipping, you get Rocky Mountain bucks, all that good stuff. Uh, it really does help us out a ton. And yeah, I appreciate all their help. So. Um, that is kind of our deal over there. And this whole video series is about building a budget shop, right? Now, all my other videos, you see me standing in front of my Snap-on toolbox full of $50,000 worth of tools, all sorts of specialized tools, all that stuff. I try to show you guys how to use normal tools, but the reality is I have a ton of cool stuff <laughs> and I use it every day. Uh, but the other reality is you don't need that kind of stuff at your house necessarily. Now, if you have the money, please buy a bunch of Snap-on stuff, buy Matco, whatever. That is the way to go. It is the best stuff out there. But if you're a normal human like me and you don't have that kind of funding, then I am here to show you what you can do on a limited budget, right? Like the problem is everything's expensive but I want to show you what kind of like my very bottom that I would do. Uh, and I think you guys will actually uh, see that it's pretty good stuff and uh, really good, um, and you'll save some money. So let's start by pulling stuff, stuff over here. Like I said, it's a mess. I got to move things around. I'm going to grab the toolbox first and we'll shove it into place. Boop, 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 boop. All right, guys, let's start with the toolbox. Uh, honestly, toolbox is a very, very important thing uh, to me. Having a nice one is good. You don't need a 10, 15, $20,000 snap-on uh, to be good. Uh, I got this at Harbor Freight. Um, it's the, your, their US General brand. They have a few different brands. I think Icon is their top of the line and they have one below this, uh, but this thing's awesome. I really, really like it. Um, it's got roller bearing drawers. It's got a bunch of stuff that I'll never use, like the handle and all that. We gotta get that out of there. It's got labels. I've never, ever wanted to use those, but it is nice. You can really, honestly, like push on that thing and the box isn't one to tip over. Deep box up top, or deep drawer up top, excuse me. Then we go to smaller drawers. I've uh, already got a few things in here. Um, we'll show you as we go. This is a nice toolbox. I'm excited about it. It's got locks on it, which is nice. I like that. I like the ability to lock the toolbox. This is a big plane flying over. Um, uh, and this cost me 600 bucks. It's not super cheap, but it's way more affordable than a uh, 
you know, a Snap-on or a Mako or something like that. So. All right, guys, so sockets and wrenches are incredibly important. And honestly, I like to spend a little bit more money on those if you can. Uh, this is a Blue Point set, which is uh, just explained to my kid, Thomas. Um, it is Snap-on's less expensive brand. I'm sure it's made in China. It's pretty sweet, guys. It's got uh, eight, oh no, so it's got 10 to 19 and quarter to three quarter uh, wrenches, which is pretty good, pretty good. And I like this box, honestly, that's in, it's really nice. Um, but because it actually keeps things organized, there we go. Then we've got, uh, here we've got six to 20. Then we got E4 to E20. And actually we have up to 24 mil here. And then we got quarter up to one. We got a 15 16 for spark plugs. We got a 3 8 for spark plugs. 3 8 drive, quarter inch drive, nut driver, extensions. And then we've got our little stuff, four mil up to 14 for uh, eighth inch drive and extensions. Anyway, it's a nice little set, right? So it's, it's good. Uh, nothing fancy. It's, I think I paid about 300 bucks for it when I got it. It's been a while now. Um, and like I said, I think it's probably made in China, but at least it's supporting Snap-on and, you know, Blue Point, which is an American company. So um, these guys I'm going to put, I think, up here in this top drawer. I like to usually have my sockets and things I use all the time up here. I think what I'm going to do, um, because I'm not going to have just a ton of tools in here yet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and see if there's room for this to be open. Yeah, look at that. So there we go. Pretty sweet. So now everything's open, easy to get to, close as well. Boom. So I got my sockets and wrenches up there. Probably going to have to supplement those, get an eight, uh, um, you know, box in wrench and some other stuff, but that's okay. Uh, that's a good start. All right, guys, the next thing I use probably the most at the shop are T handles. Almost all of the next tools I'm going to show you guys are from Tusk. Huge, again, massive thank you to Rocky Mountain for these tools. I'm really, really excited. And honestly, I've been fiddling with them a little bit. They're really nice. And obviously, make sure you subscribe, stay tuned. Uh, if I break these things, I'm going to tell you guys about it. If they're junk, I'm going to tell you about it. So, um, you know, I, Rocky Mountain has not told me that I have to say nice things about their tools or their parts or their tires or any of that. They want honesty more than anything because they know that you guys trust me to give you the real lowdown. So let's take a look at these uh, T-handles. All right. So first of all, nice big set. We've got eight all the way to uh, 17. Uh, maybe let's see. Actually, 8 to 19, that's amazing. I don't have 19 T-handles in my normal set. Uh, and also, guys, T-handles are not one of those things that you buy from Snap-on. They don't even have them. They're mainly like Motion Pro, things like that, kind of specific to dirt bikes. Then we've got our T-handle holder here. I'm going to figure out exactly how I'm going to mount that. I think I have an idea. All right, guys, we got them up there. I like that a lot. Uh, that turned out really good. Uh, I just had to get creative with some blocks of wood and some banding. And anyway, that's nice and sturdy. Not going to go anywhere. Really happy with that. Guys, if you don't use T-handles, I highly recommend you try and get used to it. They work really, really well. They're just awesome for like quick, easy stuff. Uh, you can put a lot of torque on things. So you got to be careful of that. Don't over torque things, but they're really nice. And these seem to be really good. They got the chromium vanadium um, sockets. I really like the fact that they have... Uh, hexes on here. So if you need to put some torque on things, you can get a wrench on there, really reef down on it. Those are super nice. Uh, all right, let's grab the next thing. All right, guys. So next things, I've got a, a few little things I want to show you and find a drawer for. So let's take a look. So fork cap wrench, obviously from Tusk, also good. Um, and you can see here, guys, I have fancy power tools. Um, although this isn't that fancy, but it's really, really nice, by the way not sponsored by Makita. Um, but uh, when it comes to a four cap wrench, guys, you just don't need anything fancy. This will fit most KTMs. So there we go. And now I need to find a fork tool drawer. And I don't think I'm going to have too many fork tools here. So um, I usually end up kind of down low, but let's, uh, 
let's go here. There's that fork tool. We got the fork cap tool for uh, SSS forks. This is uh, not a fork tool or anything suspension, but very important tool, guys. The very, very useful magnet, extendy magnet guy. I'll put that in my, I'm gonna call this top drawer kind of the junk or miscellaneous drawer, put that there. Also got a valve core tool, put that in there. In my box at the shop, that also goes in that kind of like miscellaneous drawer is Another incredibly important tool, guys. I cannot tell you how necessary one of these are for working on motorcycles or really anything. Because eventually you're gonna end up with something whose bolts don't want to come loose. And you're gonna strip them if you mess them out, especially if it's a, a Phillips head screw, screw or something like that. The impact driver, hand impact driver, guys, this is so crazy important. This one's nice, comes with some uh, um, Phillips and flathead. These things are sweet. Um, I have a snap-on one. It's held up a long time. This probably wouldn't hold up as long as a snap-on if you just used it every day. But since it's gonna be at home, I think it's gonna be perfect. All right, got another suspension tool here. Uh, oil level gauge. Use these things all the time. The one at the shop, I've got hooked to like a Mighty Vac with a you know hook up to the air system. But this is a perfect for home. Uh, obviously, you guys have seen how I use these things. Really nice. It's got the graduations on this thing, so you can set it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at 110 because that's usually where almost everything is. All right, next, you guys, got some kind of specific tools, some kind of specialty tools. Uh, again, Tusk makes. Can't believe they even have these things, it's awesome. Uh, it's a crank puller and installer. These things are really cool, guys, because this allows you to, this allows you to pull a crank into the case instead of pushing on it. Pushing on it, if you're not careful, we, we push a lot of them at the shop with the press, but if you're not careful, you can actually tweak the webs of the crank. Uh, so this thing makes it way, way, way safer um, to do. I'm gonna put all these in a specialty drawer. I think I'll put that down here. I'll show you. A little bit of a deeper drawer and then also I'm gonna put my case splitter that I got from them. And I like to put these in those big drawers guys because they just take up a lot of room. This thing is now again nice these things are crazy expensive if you buy them from Motion Pro or anybody else. Um, the Tusk one is way more affordable and really slick. I actually really like the way they have it set up um, because the Motion Pro one, all these are at different levels because of the way they work. This thing, you can see they're all pivoting on a different level. And so you end up with a perfectly flat, it comes with bolts, nuts, all that good stuff. And then you, you know, screw this thing down to split the cases and it works great. So this thing is awesome. Really, really excited about having that here. All right. Nice oil seal puller. Use these things all the time, taking wheel seals, like wheel bearing seals and stuff out. I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna go here with that. Also here, guys, check this out. I really like this tool a lot, the setup. That is the thread repair kit, guys, and it's nice. It's a metal box, nice stuff. It's got all the right um, taps, right drill bits, installer tools. This is the tool to break the little tang. It's actually nicer than my Snap-on one. I have one that I bought from Snap-on, and this is actually a nicer setup. So really stoked about that. Put that there, that there. Now, if you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of pliers. Uh, these are just really simple, nothing special. Um, they're Masterlink pliers. So they're made for installing a Masterlink. They've got kind of a funky um, tooth there, like a uh, focus. Anyway, they're a little bit weird, um, but they're cool. Like they're for 
going clip and like pinching a mash link together. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to need to get some more uh, pliers. Tuss doesn't make like a big set of pliers like Snap-on does. I have a million pliers in, at the shop, so I'll probably be bringing a set from there. I'm going to determine that that is going to be my plier drawer. <laughs> it's empty right now. It's all right. By the way, guys, this video, like I said, is just the beginning of a series of videos of me filling this thing up and really setting this shop up. So uh, today we're going to be filling the toolbox up with what we have and then building a bench over here um, to uh, be able to work on more stuff and like have full bench space. I'm probably eventually I'm going to end up with one of those trays like I have for doing suspension work and all that. But um, like I said, today is just the toolbox and a bench. All right. One of the important things, guys, for doing steering head bearings, wheel bearings, things like that, is having a nice set of bearing race drivers. These are nice. They're obviously tapered there. Um, but then you can also mount it. So that would be like if you're driving things in, you know, that way. But then you can mount it like this way to drive wheel bearings and stuff like that in. So, uh, or main bearings, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to put that in a case. We'll just put that down there. Also, the opposite of that is the bearing remover set. Just blind bearing pullers, guys. They work like all other blind bearing pullers. I'm not going to show you that right now, but really nice thing to have. Wheel bearings out, transmission bearings, all that good stuff. Nice funnel, safety wire. All right, guys, the fork seal driver. Uh, Tusk does not actually have a 48 millimeter fork seal driver, which I find odd, <laughs> honestly. Uh, it's like the most common fork seal to do, but uh, it's okay. They supplied me with a Motion Pro, got this. By the way, all these things, all these tools came from Rocky Mountain, even if they're not actually Rocky Mountain. These things are nice, the ringer style. I actually like, I don't know, I'm torn on these. Sometimes I like these, sometimes I don't. I, I kind of like the old school ones better because these things are kind of funky to get used to. I gotta have to like, there we go. They kind of, when you do lock them in, they're like locked and nice, but they're kind of weird to get locked in. Anyway, they're really, really, really nice. Um, I just kind of old school, but I like these things a lot. Uh, safety wire pliers. Got a ni really nice uh, Allen key set. Comes with a stand and everything, so we'll set that up on top. And we also have a Torx set. Nice comes T9 to T50, which is actually good because like most of these things don't go all the way up to 50. You usually get to 45, but that's pretty sweet. All right, guys, getting close to the end of our Tusk tools right now. Got a big Tusk measuring cup, pretty sweet. It's all graduated. Shows the ounces, milliliters. Great for changing oil when you know you got to pour 800 cc's in. You just dump it in here. Use the funnel to go in. Really nice uh, Euro bolt kit. And I do the Euro ones because they work on the Japanese ones too, uh, but they do look nice and they got the Torx headed bolts. Um, yeah, super nice. Then we got a set of tire irons because one thing, the other thing I want to be able to do here is change tires. So I don't have to always go down to the shop. Five of those, by the way, I mean, these are just a copy of the Motion Pro and I really like them, honestly, guys. This setup, that curve and everything is my favorite style tire iron. And we'll see, by the way, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe because we'll see if those things are any good. We got a spring puller because we're a two stroke family and you gotta be able to pull the springs off your pipe. Yeah. All right guys, so uh, that is all the stuff in the tool box right now. Uh, but then we've got a Tusk tire iron or Tusk tire changer. Uh, and it's nice. It comes with the bead breaker. It's obviously not put together yet. I'm going to do that here pretty soon. Um, but also I'm going to build a stand for it to lift it up off the ground a little bit more, uh, make that a little bit easier. And then we'll definitely test this against, um, the Rabiconda. It's not going to be as nice as the Rabiconda, I'll tell you right now, but it's going to be pretty sweet. I think it's going to work pretty well. Got a aluminum 
stand. These things are actually really nice. It's got the curved bottom so it doesn't rock around on the floor. Super light, really nice. And then thing that I really don't need, but I really like to have. Uh, my wife may, is gonna be happy that I have this. A nice matrix floor mat to be able to put bikes on because if they leak, if they do anything like that, it's nice to have it. There we go. That's gonna be nice. Be able to set the bikes on that. Everything ready to go. So now, toolbox is set. Everything's set there for now. Now let's look at what we're gonna do for a bench. Um, if you look over there, it's gonna be kind of like that. Um, but for me, a bench and a toolbox, I like to work on the actual toolbox a lot. You know, do stuff, have things up here, motors up here, whatever, uh, carburetors, things like that. But then I also like to have a big bench for, like, actually, I wouldn't probably work on the carburetor here because the gas would get on there and get into the toolbox and all that stuff. So I like to have a bench with that tray on it. So what we're gonna do is I bought a whole bunch of lumber and I'm gonna build a bench and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like and then that's gonna be the end of this video. So I'm gonna go grab that lumber and start cutting things up. I'm not gonna show you exactly like all the steps of that because it's pretty boring watching the guy chop up wood and <laughs> make things, but I'll show you when we get done with it. All right, guys, we got her done for the night. Uh, it's obviously definitely not all the way done, but it's looking pretty good. Take a look here. Uh, so working on bicycles, getting them a little more organized over there, but we got our bench. Really excited about this bench, guys. Uh, it's eight feet long, end to end. Uh, I built it the way I did, so I put these inboard and that inboard so that this would be a nice, smooth work surface. Nothing sticking out on the sides, nothing like that. Also, it'll allow me to put a backsplash back there so that stuff isn't always falling back in the back. Now, someday I really do want to insulate all of this, but I don't have the money for that now. <laughs> so if someone out there has a foam insulation business and really wants to sponsor me, let me know. <laughs> um, yeah, we would love to get this insulated. Uh, it actually does pretty darn good. It's not like I'm planning on spending just a ton of time out here because I have a shop that I spend time in. I'm not like one of those guys who sits at a keyboard all day or making sales meetings and all that stuff and needs my man time or my man cave. Uh, I live in a man cave every day, all day. So this is really more for the kids to come out and do some light maintenance, um, maybe some suspension work, things like that. Nothing super crazy. Uh, but I do want to insulate it. Uh, right now I've got everything screwed to the wall, but it can all come away easily uh, and insulate stuff later. So, uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about the bench, guys. Got our gun cleaning area right here, which I'm excited about. Um, but yeah, lower shelf, everything is screwed to the wall, super tight. The toolbox is screwed to the bench through some holes right in here. Uh, we got all of our tools in here. Now guys, we got our uh, sockets and wrenches, got our Allens and Torx funnel. Need to find a better place for that. Uh, and obviously I need to find, a, uh, I need to find a better place for a lot of this stuff eventually. So uh, in here we got thread repair, stuff like that, bolts, <laughs> um, nothing there. A lot of room for more tools, tire irons to go with the tire machine, nothing. Uh, we got our bearing remover, uh, bearing driver, um, firearms cleaning stuff there. Uh, some helmet light, bigger tools. Um, we got the fork, no, fork seal driver, installer, case splitter, nothing. Uh, some suspension stuff, we'll get more of that in there. Um, this is actually bicycling stuff, helmet light, uh, glasses, earbuds. Um, some pliers, gotta get more of those. Gotta get some uh, uh, screwdrivers. I don't really have any screwdrivers here. Uh, I got lots of them over there in my van, but I need some in here. So I don't know if Tusk makes that. Uh, Travis, if Tusk makes a bunch of screwdrivers, let me know, I'd like to get some. Um, but yeah, miscellaneous there. So that's turning out really good. I'm really excited about that, guys. Uh, I don't have all the prices on all this stuff, but you guys can go to Rocky Mountain ATV MC check it out. Uh, I'm really excited. All these tough tools that I've got here feel really good. Uh, they don't feel as good as my snap-on. No way. They definitely do not feel uh, as burly and as um, solid as my snap-on tools, but they feel 
great, especially good for a home uh, shop. So really excited about that. Uh, this area, guys, I'm excited about uh, for later. This will probably be the next video is I'm going to build a shelving storage unit thing there for gear bags, helmets, things like that. I'm really excited about that. That's coming here soon. Got all the bikes here. Um, it's pretty much all of them, I think, that we own. You'll notice... My son Thomas wanted me to show you guys, make sure you guys notice that the only really clean one is his. <laughs> because he's awesome, I do. I am so proud of that kid. He takes really good care of his stuff. Actually, Ewan does too. You'll notice while his is dirty, there's nothing leaking underneath it. It's absolutely ready to rock and roll. Uh, the air filter I know is clean actually. Uh, he just did not get a chance to wash it. So guys, I don't know if you like that video. Let me know if you do. Um, I think it turned out pretty good so far. We're getting there. I uh, got a long way to go. Oh, I moved uh, the T handles to here. They were over there, but when I moved this to here to make this all work, anyway. So, yeah, let me know if you like that video. Uh, if you need some Tusk tools, please use our link uh, in the description below. Also, guys, you can now bookmark highland cycles.com. Bookmark that on your browser. When you click on that, the very first thing you see will be a big picture with the RMA TV MC logo. Click that and you'll go right to our page. Um, so you can bookmark it. It's two clicks. You're right in. Uh, you help us out. You get great deals on parts. It's really awesome. And I just cannot thank them enough. They are amazing. They are really, really changing my life and I really appreciate it. So now I need you guys to comment below. What do you want to see me do next? What do you think I should do next? What did I do wrong? Uh, what did I do right? What tools, are there other Tusk tools you want to see me get in here and test and beat on? Uh, other just normal tools, just let me know. Any suggestions, ideas, questions, comments, all that stuff, please comment below. I will get back to you. I try to answer every one of the comments. It really means a lot to me when you guys do that. I love you and I'll see you guys on the next one.